isomide talks about uh, portable SIMD. Um, so here's the overview. Uh, first is uh, why uh, we use portable SIMD, uh, and then why a different language than C, why C is uh, not appropriate and not possible, and then the implementation, and then uh, my results and the status of the project. But first, this is the day that I found out I was gonna give this talk at 5,800 meters. Uh, okay, so a lot of people are doing duplicated work in LibMVEC. I did, worked on uh, the IBM uh, PowerPC implementation and on the mailing list, people are trying to do the NEON implementation and there's a bunch of other architectures that want uh, implementation of LibMVEC. Um, in general, a lot of SIMD in the wild is still SSC2, no matter what hardware people are using, just because it was written once and it would much, run much faster if it could be optimized to different architectures. Um, in general, vectorizers are very difficult to implement and it's much easier if you write your code vectorized and then if you need to, you can, the LLVM will devectorize it for you. Um, if you hand code stuff, it can't be optimized and there's many cases where hand code um, could be trivially optimized by the compiler. If we write our code as portable SIMD, then it gives motivation in speeding it up to working on the LLVM optimizations. And having worked on that, there, it would be really good if somebody worked through all the scalar optimi optimizations and audited them whether they're applicable to vectors because this hasn't actually been done. And uh, in general, uh, non-portable code just slows everybody down. Uh, this is a small example. Don't get too worked up on the syntax. This is um, AES on power in OpenSSL. And when I re-implemented this in C, it was able to pull stuff out of the loop and it suddenly went twice as fast. Um, so just an overview, if for how you do SIMD and LLVM, if you do a compare, you get a vector of bools and you have to schedule around this and um, predicates are also in use here, although that stuff is not, not in LLVM yet. Um, you can have shuffle vector, you also have scatter, scatter and gather. Um, as I said, not all the optimizations are correct right now. Um, and there's, there's also some cogent issues if you use weird sizes like a U3, uh, like an I3, or you have like really weird vector widths. Um, but as long as it's normal, the cogent is, is, I haven't run into any problems. Um, so why C doesn't work? So uh, C does have a portable vector, and you can do a lot of math on it, but if you want to branch on it, it doesn't work. Um, and you, can, can't also, you can also cannot do vector gather or scatter. And the C rules were really happenstance. Like, it will automatically splat a number, but if it's just alone, it doesn't splat it. So you have to do zero plus the number, or, uh, a vector zero plus the number. Um, because a lot of it was implemented in macros, like things that you expect to work don't work. And C also has weird rules like the implicit um, integer to flow conversions, and these apply differently to vector numbers in ways that are not predictable. There was an attempt to do portable SIMD in Rust, but it got deprecated and removed as well. Um, so this is what's implemented. Um, if you, you can actually just get a uh, vector gather by putting a vector into your uh, index, and same thing with the vector store. Um, I'm not, um, the, yeah, I'm not going to go over the specifics, but those, the shuffle and the gather and the scatter are implemented fairly straightforward. Um, you can also bit cast to the, to a integer that's the width of your vector. Um, splat is explicit. And also you can, uh, it's basically like templating. You can, uh, write code that is, that works, can be pi compiled to any vector width. Uh, and then that's for doing branches on, um, on vectors of bools. Uh, so here's the results. So one implementation I compiled on Skylake for different widths. And on the left is the existing libmvec for a uh, double precision exponent. And the results I got are almost the same. Now there's this difference is this AVX2 implementation, but it turns out that that gives different results. So if you run 
if you have your code compiled for libmvec, it will usually give you the same results, and then on one piece of hardware, it will give you totally different results. And then the same code also works on ARM32 and ARM64. Uh, and then these are some to-dos. Um, GCC9, now you can uh, get the address of a vector element, and this was the last thing I was working on. And there, there's the code at the bottom, and there's a bunch more work to do, but I showed that I was able to do five implementations with one piece of code that's about 100 lines, and that it was the proof of concept that it's totally possible to, lib, uh, to implement libmvec with portable send. So is there any questions? <laughs> Do we have any, anybody who wants to come up and ask a question in the center? Uh, hello, I, I'm Dmitry Babokin from, from Intel, and uh, I'm maintainer of ISPC, and it sounds like exactly what we are doing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's SPMD uh, language, it, ISPC is SPMD language, and you're basically trying to implement SPMD paradigm as well. As well. Uh, have you looked at other SPMD languages, or at ISPC, or any other? No, I'm not familiar with that, but we can talk afterwards. Okay. So, um, I'm not familiar with sort of the Zig language in itself. Could you say a few words sort of what it is, or how, how it fits? I mean, if you, if you want to write libmvec in Zig, so we're, yeah, the, I, yeah, I should talk about that. So we're targeting a C ABI. So Zig is a very new language and it's not totally stable, but as long as we're targeting a C ABI, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, C, Zig has some cool features. Um, the one that's relevant to this project is that you can, it has an interpreter for the same language. So we could, it, it might be possible to do the different ve uh, vector widths actually is the same implementation because we can auto-generate the table constants, which is about the main difference between them. Um, but otherwise, I mean, so the, the, one of the biggest, Zig is, is fairly similar to C, but it's not possible to do this in C because the syntax just can't be adapted. <sighs> not else, sure. It's, it's, this project is not, it's implemented in Zig out of necessity, and I think it's a good tool, but Zig doesn't have to be perfect for this project to succeed. I, I had a question. So yeah. you said that you were experimenting a bit with the ARM, ARM32 and ARM64, and did you see any like similar results for uh, speed, up, speed ups for this? Or yeah, I got about 130 megabytes on really low end chips, which was about predicted, which is, is much better than the scalar code. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it, it gives the ex exact same results as the scalar code. Right. All right, if there aren't any other questions, let's thank Sean again.